Hi and welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome back to Promise video because um, as I said I'm gonna give you an update and it's good news to start with as always. I have lost 2.3 kilograms. Okay so it's 17th of August today and I'll show you my weight just to on my app. So We've got a date in here, 17th of August 2024, and I weighed today 78.7 kilograms. My body fat is going down. It is down, but still in the red, so it's 35.9% now. My BMI went from red to orange, which is good. So, yeah, everything looking good, better anyway from last time I seen you guys. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. So 78.7 kilogram and I'll see you in a week time. Hopefully this go down more. Just four days. Why four days? Not a week. Because I started on a, as you know, on the 13th of August. And uh, you see my starting weight. And after four days, because I weighed myself on Saturday, this is where I always going to be weighting myself on Saturday. Uh, I checked and I lost 2.3 kilograms just in four days. When I asked my husband, is it a lot? Is it a lot? Is it a lot or not? Uh, you have to judge for yourself. Uh, when I told my husband, he said, well, just 2.3 kilograms, that's not a lot. But it, it's only four days, remember guys. It's four days, not a week, not even a week. So why I decided to check my weight after four days, not after a week? Just because um, I'm working for the week and I can't make video for you guys at the weekend. So if I'm going to be waiting myself always on Saturday, I can make a video for you and upload on Sundays. So my next video will be on Sunday and I'm going to wait myself from Saturday to Saturday, which means you're going to have an update exactly how much I lost in one week. So this time it's 2.3 kilograms. If I made up with this, yes, I am. It's a lot for me. Even if I'm going to lose one kilogram per week, I will be totally happy with this. I do not want to lose too much weight too quickly. So um, I want to basically, I've got a plan in place, which is pretty good plan. If I say so myself, I'm allowed to have one cheat meal. Uh, on Saturdays. I always gonna wake myself on Saturday first thing in the morning before I eat anything so it's the routine I've got in place um, to have my results pretty much you know um, right um, and the same so I can measure them um, and obviously I can give you updates why I don't want to lose weight too quickly because you're gonna end up with a silky skin and this will definitely happen. If you've got a lot of body fat, like myself, I'm above 38, I think I started with. Uh, it's going down, which is good news. Uh, my body fat going down, but the problem is that if you're gonna start losing weight too quickly, uh, you're gonna end up with that soggy skin. Um, and this is the last thing I need, to be honest. I don't want to feel worse about myself than I already am, so no chance. I'm not doing that mistake and I wouldn't recommend to do for anyone who's got you know um, body fat above 30 percent and above to do that don't try to lose your weight too quickly uh, unless you want to end up with the stretch marks to be completely fair with you guys I spoke to my friend uh, my work colleague and she said that she's got um, stretch marks after I had two kids, I've got the stretch marks and they're pretty ugly. But she had the stretch marks when she was a teenage girl. And I asked, how is that even possible? And she said, because she was growing too quickly and her skin was stretching too quickly. Uh, so the body doesn't like sudden changes. And so that's what happened to her. She got a pretty awful stretch mark, which she could not get rid of. And uh, basically, they stayed uh, with her all life, even now. I never had stretch marks, only after having two kids, and you know, it's, it's not a nice thing to have, but something sometimes we can't help. Uh, the problem is your body not gonna like too much changes too quickly. So, for example, myself, I'm not doing any exercise to help my skin. So at the moment, I'm not even planning to do any exercise. Too. So 2.3 kilograms I lost purely because of my diet uh, and not uh, 
to thank for any exercise which I'm not doing. So I'm not planning to do any exercise. If you would be asking if I'm planning to do any exercise in the future, yes, I am planning to do some exercise because they're always helpful. But first of all, I'm going to concentrate on a diet. So diet is my number one goal at the moment. Uh, I will be sticking to my diet. I am sticking to my diet, uh, but tweaking it a little bit because it's still not working for me 100%. Uh, so next week I will give you an update how I look like, so there will be more update how I look and I will show you everything unfortunately. So if you want to look and see this, then you know, you can uh, see the update in the next week and hopefully I can give you an update how I look like and compare from week 1 and week, uh, pretty much second week, let's call it second week, okay? We wasted a bit of few ten, few days in the first week, but that's fine, it was only four days instead of seven. But let's call it second week, week two. I'm gonna show you uh, and compare, we'll compare the pictures so we can see if I'm losing some weight. And you can see it or you can't see it. So that, I think that would be interesting for people who want to see how quickly they can see the results. Uh, there might not be any changes, I don't know. I'm just doing this first time. Uh, why I'm doing the diet, what, what, how is it going so far? It's going incredibly well. Uh, I haven't been tempted to eat any crap food. And the good thing is that my diet um, includes one cheat meal, not a cheat day. Okay, my cheat meal. I'll show you my cheat meal now. Uh, I was choosing between having either half tub of ice cream or having a bowl of homemade tomato soup, which is my favorite soup. Uh, so very tempting and i was planning to make it for kids anyway so uh, tomato soup that was the choice and the third choice was homemade lemonade uh, with lots of sugar of course because my daughter really wanted me to make um lemonade so i uh, i'm gonna make a homemade lemonade with her so that was the third choice so i'm gonna show you now what i chose this week to be my cheat meal okay for my cheat meal i ended up having tomato soup big bowl of tomato soup with lots of noodles as you can see here egg noodles. ingredients for that soup was cream we've got heavy cream we've got um, double concentrate tomato one of course and some noodles yeah nice egg noodles normal one regular noodles that was the ingredients for my soup uh, if you like your recipe it's on my channel and um, uh, tomato soup. My sausage also got one big piece of uh, sausage, homemade sausage. So, yeah, nice big piece. So, the study actually proves that having a cheat day it really works uh, because you can stick to your diet uh, better. If you, for example, but you have to have it always the same day. So, Saturdays, I've got my cheat day. This week, what I will be having? What, Actually, let's go back to that statement. Why do you think it's working to have a cheat day or cheat meal? Because you're gonna, your calories gonna go up, you're gonna have more, obviously, energy. Most likely, you're gonna eat some chocolate, ice cream, or whatever, or pizza, or KFC. You can have McDonald's, you can have anything you want. So, anything you're craving, it's allowed on my diet on Saturday. You can have whatever meal you want. So, you can have KFC, as I said, anything you like. Um, and I will actually. Mm, show you my breakfast as well because on my diet you're allowed to have i'm eating waffles surprise surprise so yeah i'm loving my diet and i can definitely stick to it i feel like i can stick to this diet first time in my life not like any other diets this this diet really works as i said i need to make a few uh, tweaks but it's definitely working okay i will show you now my breakfast which i eat pretty much seven days a week Okay, this is my breakfast and I'm having waffles. You can have waffles every day. Mm, depends what, if you like, you know, mm, sweet or sour, sweet or <laughs> a salty breakfast. So I've got in here apples, waffles. I weigh everything, mm, exactly. And I've got 100 ml of milk, semi-skimmed, it's fine. You don't need oats or special milks. Or special powders and Canadian maple syrup. I'm gonna add some as well. Sweet breakfast today. It's a weekend. This is how my waffle looks. It doesn't look like a poor thin waffle. Nice and thick. And then, make it 
not bad for a diet. And so at the moment I'm not planning to have any exercise probably for next week. I don't have exercise in my plans or week after probably three or probably a month even. I'm not planning to do any exercise whatsoever. I'm not even walking much. Let's be honest, I haven't walked or left the house mm, this week. So that's not good, but I will probably include a 30 minutes walk for Saturday, Sunday, maybe, maybe something like this. We'll see. Why I started my diet? That's the main reason why it's going well, because more because of the health reason. So uh, I'm trying to eat more healthy to feel better. Uh, as I didn't feel very healthy, I felt really bad. I don't have much energy. I feel sleepy all the time. Uh, I felt sleepy uh, and now when I get up and I'm sticking to my diet, it's only been like what five days when I'm sticking to my diet I feel much better, I get up full of energy, I feel more happier and yeah it's it's a completely different story and it's only been a week so I'm sure I can lose weight and um, what I want to do, I want, I'm going uh, to surprise my parents because they always see me like being quite big after two kids uh, and I've never been thin to be honest, never been very very thin uh, and my sister can eat whatever she wants and she's not getting fat but I do but it is what it is, it's life so it's fine uh, I wanted to tell you all you guys, hopefully you have started your diet and if you feel really down and you're really fat and you've got loads to lose uh, I discovered a new song which is very motivated so this is the song you need to listen to this guys uh, I don't know if you can see it but it's Some Days Sonny Fodera uh, and it's a credible song, very motivating I think it just came out mm, so surprise surprise it just came out just for me anyway uh, make sure you listen to this song at the finale probably in three months time I'm gonna surprise my parents lose some weight and that's the goal that's the end goal for me to surprise my parents and wear clothes I want and look good and surprise them and feel more healthy so probably gonna record that for you guys but I have to keep in yeah keep going so I think that's everything for now I will give you update next Sunday with my weight how much I lost what is my diet uh, if you've got any question let me know but yeah this is so far so good uh, if you want to see uh, my six pack Mm, don't think you will see it. Just have a look. This is uh, all jeans squeezed up. So this is how I look right now. Not great. Uh, yeah. So that's the update. But don't worry, guys. You have to be motivated. Doesn't look. Doesn't. You know. Doesn't mean if you look like a picky like me <laughs> that you can't lose weight. You can lose weight and. I tell you that it can be easier than you think. Um, all those guys who are 10% body fat, I can tell you now they are lazy as I don't know and they do much less than you do but they're working smarter, they're doing it smarter way and that's the way to go about it. If you don't have motivation, it's not. it doesn't take motivation. I can tell you that, that losing weight doesn't take motivation and uh, doesn't need it. Um, different factors can make you successful in this area so i'll be sharing all my tips in my next video i'll see you next week and good luck with your diet because i will need it not this time anyway